Now, there's a breaking story that I want to bring you on Catherine, Princess of Wales. It's been brought to us as an exclusive from the Mirror newspaper. It turns out that there's an investigation currently underway uh, because while Kate, Princess of Wales, was a patient in the London clinic in January, at least one member of staff is said to have been caught trying to access her notes. And, of course, bosses have launched a, launched a probe into these claims because breaching confidentiality is a very, very serious problem. And when she was in the London clinic, at least one member of staff was said to have tried to get a hold of them. The allegations have sent shockwaves through the hospital, which is in Marylebone in central London. It's got a very, very good reputation for discreetly treating members of the royal family, former presidents, prime ministers and various other celebrities. One insider says this is a major security breach and incredibly damaging for the hospital. Um, and it's got a reputation for treating members of the royal family. Um, we don't yet know whether the police have been involved and the police have been told but this is a story exclusively being reported uh, in the Daily Mirror. We'll bring you more on that when we get it. But let's speak, first of all, to host of To Die For Daily Podcast, Kinsey Schofield. Kinsey, welcome back to the Independent Republic of Mike Graham. Um, you know, we were shown yesterday the first pictures of, uh, of William and Kate out shopping together. Um, we'll get to those in a moment. First, let's talk about this incredible breaking news about this possible breach of confidentiality in what you might call the top people's clinic in London. Mike, you and I have been concerned about this for the last two or three weeks. We have specifically said that the chaos that's been generated online could ultimately jeopardize the Princess of Wales's safety, her you know, confidentiality right here. Mm. You're seeing somebody that has breached protocol um, for what? Social media clout? Uh, and I'm doing some research on my end because this is a breaking story. But what I can tell you is following some of the fallout online over the Princess of Wales and um, her health and the photo. There is a blogger that is located in Southern California. She has over a million followers on Instagram. Um, she became popular through the Johnny Depp trial uh, and has slowly eased her way into royal commentary and she there were claims on her social media that she had a contact within the hospital that gave her information about the princess of wales's health and on her instagram i watched her apologize to the princess of wales um, because of this information she claims to have received from a member of staff at the hospital so a part of me wonders if You've got over a million followers. That is a huge draw. Yeah. Could that announcement, could could that social media activity have led to this investigation? I don't know. Mm. But as far as we know, through what's been reported so far, is someone only attempted to access those documents. There's no report so far that someone successfully accessed those documents about the Princess of Wales's private uh, health concerns at this hospital. And it's like you said, I mean, the, the Kennedys, were, were clients at this hospital. Yeah. Prince Philip, Princess Margaret, this is typically a very trusted venue for high profile individuals. Uh, if this turns out to be true, what a disappointing experience for the Princess of Wales. Absolutely right. And it is in fact a criminal offence for any member of staff um, in an NHS or even a private healthcare hospital to access medical records of a patient. It's not clear whether it's a, a criminal offence to attempt to. I suppose it would depend on the circumstances, but it's possible that it could be a criminal uh, investigation because if you're trying to access something which is illegal, then you are somehow committing a crime by doing so, aren't you? I mean, if I'm trying to rob a bank, I hope that I'm going to jail for trying to rob a bank. So, I mean, I know that that's an extreme in comparison, but I think it's if there's the intention there to break the law, right. surely somebody is going to be uh, reprimanded for for such a, a ridiculous activity. And again, Mike, uh, I just can't stress enough. You and I have been worried about this. Somebody chasing social media clout and doing yes. something unethical in an attempt to to gain that notoriety. And here we are. Yes, exactly. Right, because as we said last night when we were speaking about the whole situation with uh, Kate and the pictures and what happened on Mother's Day and what subsequently happened over the weekend and what subsequently happened uh, in the sun today, you know, the trolls have still not stopped because I think now the genie is so far out of the bottle it's never going back in. And I think there are now people who are so obsessed with this story that no matter what evidence they see, they won't believe it. 
Yeah. And how much do you want to just tell those people to get a life? I mean, I'm having I mean, to bite lot. my tongue here. <laughs> yeah. I know I'm having to bite my tongue here because I, you know, people are forwarding me these conspiracy videos and I just don't have time for this kind. It just seems so idiotic. I don't have time for this. Um, there's not a big conspiracy. We, they were ridiculously open with us. The transparency at the beginning of this process was, Hey, guess what? You are not going to see this woman until Easter. Mm. Uh, for some some reason that just was not a good enough excuse for the weirdos that you've seen cultivate huge audiences online uh, by stirring the pot. I believe that the Princess of Wales um, is in recovery. I think she's doing well. I believe we're going to see her at Easter. And I wish everybody would just leave her the hell alone. Yeah, exactly right. But I did say to you last night, and I mean, I didn't want it to come true, but I said, no doubt there will be people who immediately they see this video will say, oh, that's not her. But in fact, it now has been proven to be uh, a genuine video. Uh, it has been examined by the people that do these kinds of things and they have checked with facial images. They've checked all sorts of uh, antecedents and editing buttons and whether anything was done. And it is a genuine video uh, and it would appear uh, that they, they can prove that it is definitely the two of them together. And it made somebody very, very rich, Mike. I mean, yes. this was the, all of the people complaining about it being a blurry photo. They grabbed a screenshot from a video that was taken. That's why the photo is blurry. This was likely, honestly, not a setup. Otherwise, I think you would have better quality. I think it was somebody creeping inside their car and they realized they hit the jackpot when they saw these two. Um, and uh, I, Andy Cohen here, who is a huge personality, he's basically the head of Bravo created the housewife franchises and probably polluted uh, American television if we want to if we really want to <laughs> give him credit um, but he has said there's no way that's Kate on on Twitter so you're even seeing some of these high profile individuals mm. fall into the conversation and it's just like uh, completely unnecessary get a life right. I mean don't you have a, don't you have some reality trash television to to create over in this in your, in your trash TV corner right Exactly right. Well, we've got a page from The Sun uh, tomorrow morning, ten, page 10. Arthur Edwards, uh, very well-known, very famous royal photographer, has been doing it even longer than I was doing it for. Uh, trolls claim it wasn't Kate, and Elvis has been spotted riding Shergar. You might not know what Shergar is. That was a horse that got kidnapped um, by uh, the IRA and was never found again. Um, and so people have always gone, well, where's Elvis? I mean, this is that kind of level, isn't it? Elvis is still alive. I spotted him in a McDonald's in Salt Lake City. And my, my problem at this point is I don't feel like they should give, I don't feel like William and Catherine should give the public any more than yeah. they initially promised because then the public realizes that they're dictating their behavior and they have a sort of control over these people that are typically unattainable. Yes. And that's what makes them so special and that's where they need to remain unattainable. Yes, exactly right. But that is where, I mean, and, and to be serious for a moment, we can have this serious conversation um, without being disrespectful to, to the royal family. You know, they need to be so careful. I was listening to a conversation today about how good the Queen, the late Queen was about all of this, Queen Elizabeth II, how very carefully she was um, um, making sure that whatever was released by the royal family, whatever was said, whatever image was put out, whatever view was expressed, it was always given with a great deal of care. And it seems as though they just might need to get some of that back. I mean, but how much do you feel like the Mother's Day photo was a sharp reaction to trying to silent speculation over the Princess of Wales's health? Because that's my argument. I think, yeah, a lot of strategy has been thrown out the door. Let's just shut everyone up and release a cute photo. In theory, that is a great idea. But when you release a photo that has been um, altered in any, in any way, really, uh, you add additional questions and you fire up the speculation. Uh, so I agree with you. Are they... Are they trying to be too modern? Are they trying to modernize the royal family too much and it's negatively affecting the magic that typically surrounds the royal family? Yes, I think that's absolutely right. But I dare say the Sun tonight has also got a leader saying, you know, just move on, get on with it, you know, get a life effectively. And I think, I think we would all share uh, in that particular wish 
Time for everyone to get a grip. Kinsey, thank you very much indeed, as ever. Kinsey Schofield there uh, with her take on the latest rumour, uh, the latest report, I should say, this, uh, this night in the uh, Daily Mirror, uh, which is that there's now an investigation going on at the London Clinic uh, where it is supposedly uh, where uh, somebody tried to access the confidential files, medical files, uh, of Kate, Princess of Wales, while she was in there in January.